Tomorrow is election day for about 200,000 people in Allegheny County. As political editor John Delano reports, one of the three special elections will be to replace Austin Davis, who resigned his position in the state house to become Pennsylvania's lieutenant governor. Voters in the heart of the Mon Valley will elect a replacement for lieutenant governor Austin Davis. That's the 35th legislative district. 13 communities from West Homestead to McKeesport to Clarendon. There are two candidates, Democrat Matt Gurgley and Republican Don Nevels. For the last few years that I've watched our last state representative here, uh, not much has been accomplished. I have heard over and over from so many that there, we're lacking communication with the government. Uh, we're lacking email response, calls, anything. Uh, to inform the people. Republican Nevels is a Clarendon native who served in the U.S. Navy and is now a small businessman owning a tattoo parlor. Nevels says public safety is issue number one for this district. We have an uprising crime that we need to get under control. We have habitual reoffenders. The police are going out doing their work, arresting them, doing what we have to do, and then the courts are failing us. Democrat Gurgley says he has the experience to get to work for the Mon Valley having worked for both the city of McKeesport and the school district. I've worked in government uh, very for the last 20 plus years, uh, and it was, it's been public service, which I love. I love um, uh, seeing the results of our help. Like Nevels, Gurgley sees crime as a key issue in the Mon Valley and wants more trained police. He also supports more state dollars for economic development. We need more than a lot of areas require because of the re rebuilding we have to do and remediation. The addiction to crime and violence we're experiencing, um, and, and how do you solve it? What's the answer? Uh, if there was one answer, we'd be copying it, and, and we'd all be doing it all over all over the country. Voters in the 35th will vote on Tuesday, February 7th. There are three special elections on that day. If Democrats win all three, they will take control of the state house. If Republicans win one of the three, they will keep control. So a lot is riding on these elections. John Delano, KDK News.